For all of you teenagers or even kids out there wanting to make some extra money, here are eight side hustles that you can start that are especially great here in the summertime. Most of the side hustles I've done myself and I started doing them at eight years old. So you can start most of them pretty early and then you can build as you get more time and as you get older, you can build them into a bigger business, potentially making you five to 10 grand a year. So without further ado, let's get into these eight side hustles. The first one on the list is one that I did when I was eight or nine years old, and that is collecting bottles. So I live in a small town where there's not a lot of bottles, but if you live in a bigger city, I went to the park the other day, uh, we sat there drinking with some friends and these homeless people just came over and took our bottles and you know, they got the bags full of them. So they were making, you know, maybe a hundred dollars a day, just collecting bottles. and depending on where you live, right, you get money, uh, uh, more or less money for these bottles. So this could be a great side hustle for uh, the younger, younger demographic who can't do some of the others. So you can't really scale this into a huge business, but this is great to make some extra money. The next one on the list, you can scale to around $3,000 a season because this is actually where you're going to be growing flowers. You want to choose a specific category of flowers called the Dalila. These flowers right here, are very expensive. So essentially, if you have a piece of land, a, a little just a little garden or something, you can grow these flowers. And at the road, you can sell them, they can just go into your garden, plug a bouquet of like, five flowers or something. And then you sell that for like $10. So imagine you sell three of them a day, that is $30 a day. And a season is roughly like 100 days or a little bit less than that, maybe, but around three grand is what you could be making just from three sales a day. So this side hustle is pretty unique. But I want to feature some unique ways in this video because although everyone might not be able to do this one, this is actually one that you can profit from more than just you know what everyone else on YouTube is saying, uh, do chores for your mom and car detailing and landscaping. Those are all legit ways, but you've heard them like a 1000 times. So I wanted to make this a little bit more original and feature my own ideas in here. So the next one you have heard of before. The reason that I feature lawn mowing in here is because some friends at my school are making $30 an hour lawn mowing from people and they have like three or five clients and they're making good money here in the summertime. So essentially you find in your neighborhood, you find like three, five clients, you can start up with just one and they will have to have that have that grass cut every like two weeks. And then you that will maybe take an hour per garden and you charge $30 an hour. The great thing about this one is you can even use their equipment, they probably have you know, a, a, a mower, if you haven't got one yourself, or, uh, you know, a, a tractor that you can sit on and, and uh, cut their grass. So maybe you can't be eight years old doing this one. But you can definitely if you're above like 13, 14 years old, you can definitely cut grass, you will get a wage that you can probably not find anywhere else. Um, if you're a teen. So definitely one that you can build into a bigger business, you can just get more clients, it should be pretty easy, especially all the people, they don't want to be cutting their own grass. And if they can get a young teenage entrepreneur to cut their grass, they're definitely going to take that. So one that I've seen from my own eyes work. Um, and these guys from my school, they are making uh, good money from this fourth one on the list is really odd. But I do this myself. And this is one of my favorite ones because I make a lot of money doing this. So this is beekeeping. And you can't live in an apartment for this one, you have to have a garden. Um, and, you know, preferably live in the countryside or something. But beekeeping is a gem that you can uh, definitely make huge money from. So you'll have to take a maybe a course a $10 course in Udemy. Uh, on bee beekeeping. And the thing with beekeeping, beekeeping is, is you don't have to do anything, you don't have to feed the bees, you just come out two times a year or three times if you feed them some sugar water. Um, at the end of the year, you can take their honey, give them some sugar water instead, and they will. It's basically like, there's no expenses for beekeeping. And that that is what makes this business so great. I have a couple families. I used to have four, but now I have two this year because I'm going to a continuation school, I haven't got that much time. So I have two families, each of them are making me around a 1000 almost a $1,000 profit a year. So that's $2,000 uh, profit. And I'll be selling that um, at a road stand, just putting up a sign with like my PayPal or something that people can can use and I plan to scale this when I get out of school 
to like having maybe 10 families making me 10 grand a year or even more than that. So beekeeping is definitely one that I'll personally recommend to you if you're out there looking for something and you're willing to learn, this one can be a complete gold mine for you. Only requirement for number five on the list is that you have a beach near you. So number five is selling ice cream at your beach. So this is one that I know people can make a lot of money from. I haven't done it personally, but I have heard that Jordan Belfort, The Wolf of Wall Street, I don't know if you've seen that movie, you probably haven't if you're eight years old, um, but he did this before he got into like making a bunch of money doing stock scamming. He took a cooler, went to like a Costco, bought some ice cream, put it in the cooler, got to the beach and sold that. And he would make hundreds of dollars every single day just walking around at the beach asking people if they wanted an ice cream and you can sell it for like 5x what you buy, bought it for. This requires some social interaction and a guy from my last video said that uh, he, he was disappointed because some of the ideas on the list required social interaction. And that is true for most of these. You either have to like sell your service to people. That is a one time thing, right? But um, the only ones where you can really not have any social interaction is probably like selling things at a road stand or online or something. So you have to pull yourself together and go and talk to these people and sell them some ice cream. But you can make hundreds of dollars every single day uh, in the summertime doing this. So if you live in like Florida or like LA or something, man, you can sell ice cream. So number five on the list, one that you can definitely scale into a business, even get some buddies with you and go out there and uh, do that. Because one thing is for sure, that's enough customers for everyone. Number six on the list is dog walking. I haven't done it personally. And that's because I'm not a huge fan of, do fan of dogs myself. But if you're a dog lover, this could be a great one for you. My neighbor right over here did this and made a bunch of money while being in her teens because she loved animals, she loved dogs. And she had like, I think in the neighborhood here, two or three uh, people that she would walk their dogs. And some of them had two dogs. So she would charge a little bit extra to walk two at the same time. So imagine you get three customers and they each have a dog. You get $10 per walk and you walk them three times a week each dog. That is $90 a week if my math adds up. $90 a week, that is a good start for you know a teenager. That is a lot of money for a teenager. Uh, if you do some, if dog walking is something you love, definitely check out dog walking. And this one can also get you into dog sitting or like you know pet sitting. If your neighbors aren't home, then you can come the, to their place and uh, just take care of the dog for them. And that will also get you a nice wage. Dog walking can actually go from something that you just love doing to a, a little business that you can actually be making some nice money from. So the reason that I love side hustles instead of just having a, a job besides school, your high school or whatever you you, you attend um, is you can get so much higher wages. So for example, everyone from my class, they have you know a job now or they have it like in their summer holidays, right? They have a job, but they'll get paid like 10, $15 an hour. And the thing is with most of these, right, they will pay you $30, $20, $30. But if you're a teenager and you take a regular job, right? If, if you're eight years old, you might not even be able to get a regular job. But if you're like 14 years old, you can get a regular job, but you will get paid a bad, bad wage. When you start thinking outside the box and doing your own side hustles, you can double that wage that you would just normally get. So that is why I love being a little bit creative, coming up with my own side hustles. For one, you learn a lot more than just stacking like milk in a supermarket or something. You learn a lot more from it. You learn how to build a business, how to talk to customers, and you also get more physical. Moving on to number seven on the list, we have play music in the streets, become a busker. So for this one, you will have to be somewhat decent at a, an instrument. You have to have some rhythm. You can either play drums, play an instrument, sing or something. So this is one that I'm going to be doing this year, this summer, I'm going to be trying out busking. The reason that I know for a fact that this one works is because my cousin, he did this and he has said to me that that was actually the highest wage he's ever got. That is from just playing music here. He got in at a restaurant or like a cafe and he would just sit for a couple of hours, play music, like some silent music, background music uh, on his guitar. And he would get paid like 40, $50 an hour just to sit there playing his instrument, which he loved doing. So if you can play an instrument, which I know most people maybe 
can't do that. But if I just reach a couple people who play an instrument, this is one that I really recommend for you. It might be a little nerve wracking going out there and playing on the streets, but you can make a bunch of money and you'll, you know, get used to it pretty quickly. So busking, playing music, one that you definitely don't hear all the time, but people are living off of this one. So number eight on the list, the final one is one that I've done massively myself, and that is selling homegrown food at the road. Homegrown food like in uh, in meat, like from chicken, duck, um, you know, even pig meat or whatever you're into. Um, it can also be just having your own, own garden, uh, like with garlic and um, some different kind of kale and potatoes, maybe not potatoes, not a great one. People love, especially if you're growing organically, they love buying um, homegrown vegetables and meat from just uh, the side of the road. And you can scale this into a little business also. But yeah, I've done this myself. I had 120 animals. I had like 20 rabbits and 20 ducks and 40 chickens. And uh, I even had pigeons also. And you know, now I have bees, but all of these, they are gone now. Definitely one that you can do for yourself, have a little garden. And maybe you even think that it's kind of nice just going around in your garden, um, plucking out weeds and stuff. People will pay you generously uh, if you have some organic homegrown vegetables. And make sure that you watch this video here next because that is five other ways that you can make money as a teenager, not specifically in the summertime. Go and check that one out. Maybe you'll find the gym that will make you a lot of money. And with that said, I hope you have a great rest of your day. Peace out.